Good morning. It's seven-ish a.m. and we're here at Paris Fashion Week. I'm gonna be doing my hair and makeup and show you guys my everyday routine. This is by no means a tutorial. I feel like everything is wrong, but I will show you what I do anyways. It's been raining every single day here and it's so dreary. I was planning to slick back my hair, but I think I'm gonna wear it down because we're gonna go to a bridal appointment today. Let's start with makeup. I've got my little pouch that I have not unpacked since Albania. I usually keep my makeup out of this, but we've been on the go. So while I get ready, I'm gonna use this new honey-based lip oil that I got from the French pharmacy. TikTok recommendation. I don't know if I recommend it yet, but so far, so good. Just for a little bit of light coverage, I've been using Chanel Le Beiges. I was always so interested in the little bubbly look and then I had a gift card from Nordstrom, so I decided to try it out. This is medium light. I use two different shades depending on summer, winter, but this is the lighter one I've been using. I usually use like a pump and like a quarter and if i'm doing a photo shoot i might wear like two full pumps but for days like today where i'm just going to be seen myself and not just on camera then i'll do less than two and i like to pat it on my hand just to break up the little balls i don't know why it's mixed like that but it blends a lot better if you mix it on your hand than directly on your face and this is just a super tiny subtle evening of the skin tone i've used the refi brow sculpt before and i do really like it but sometimes with different foundations it'll get really like it almost looks like dandruff like little white it starts it starts flaking and gets little white chunks so i'm gonna skip this one today and just use a slick back stick especially with the rain i would just prefer to have these stuck in place so i just go over and i just take a little spoolie and brush them where i want them i had a brow lamination a few weeks ago but i think it's starting to fade off a little bit but this helps hold them where i want them i kind of go up and then just a little diagonal on the sides. And if I want them a little sleeker, I'll just go along the top and whoop. Now moving on to concealer. I've got two with me and neither of them is really a good <laughs> match. I have the Dior Backstage and then Armani Luminous Silk. I think the Dior one is a little too warm for my skin tone, but it is neutral, I believe. So I'll just put that one on any spots. And my skin is freaking out here, so there are more than usual. And then the Armani is a little bit lighter. This says five on the bottom. I don't know if that is the shade. And I'll just do a little bit of under eye and then wet my beauty blender. I just like to let it sit for a second. I don't know if that makes any kind of difference, but in my head it does. This summer I was checking all of my beauty, skincare, makeup products to make sure everything was either oil or water based and making sure it was all compatible so i searched like every item that i use in chat gpt and some of them i don't trust because it gave me the answer both ways if i phrase the question in different ways so it seems to be right so far my eyes are so puffy i'm very sleep deprived but my um my face has never really gotten too puffy when traveling or sleepy until maybe last year or maybe it depends on the week but never too bad for me i should put in my contacts i can't see anything I just looked over there and my eyes look really red. So hopefully that goes away very, very soon. I have never been like a designer makeup person, but the thing that really changed my mind was not that anything needed to change my mind, but the way Dior makeup smells is so beautiful. I feel so cute and pretty when I put it on. We'll see if I continue to buy stuff because I feel like um, designer makeup is just so expensive, but I love it. This one I did just buy for the compact, but it is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze. I'm just gonna take my big fluffy brush. I used to use this pretty much as a little bit of a contour, but my face is definitely paler. I wear the same sunscreen on my face and my body, but I always get tanner on my body. I try to keep my face out of the sun, so just use this to match my color a little bit better. Forehead, kind of like mid cheekbone I go, and then I'll just go a couple brushes over over the nose. Lazy girl routine, I take a little eyeshadow brush and just take the same color and put it as a base for my eyelids. This is like my every, every, every day type of look. So easy, I feel like it just adds a little, little something, but it fully blends in and you don't have to think too much about it. Today I might add a little bit more, but I'll start with this as the base. It's a little toasty in here, so I'm getting already a tiny bit oily while doing this. I'm gonna use this Fenty setting powder just a little bit on my forehead and little cheek parts so when i got my colors done i realized i should be going more towards berry tones and i was using a very corally blush before that so i've been trying to stick more to cool tone colors now that i'm looking at this i feel like this is 
maybe warm, but at the time I thought it was very cool tone. This is the shade Intense Plum, number nine. It's looking very warm on camera, but in my head, I thought it was very cool. They gifted this to me with a ton of other shades, but most of them are ones I wouldn't wear, so I gave a bunch out to friends, but I love this. This is actually very, very intense, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. I kind of go the same placement, but just up a little bit higher and further out into the cheeks and then right over the top again. I feel like blush is one of those things that does not show up on camera that much, but in person, it always looks like a lot more. I'm gonna kind of go up a little more into my temples with the extras. I go backwards, we're gonna do eyes now. I would usually just do this with a little bit of eyeliner, but I want something. Do I want something? I guess I wanna stick pretty minimal. There's nothing I wanna get super fancy for. I don't think I'm gonna use anything from this, but Too Faced sent me this palette. It's called Apple in Love, and for fall, it's got all these apple and like fall themed names, and it actually smells like it smells like apple cider, which is crazy. Or maybe like a caramel, like a Starbucks caramel apple spice. I was using some of the sparkles in here yesterday, so maybe I'll add that back on top. This is my beloved tiny Smashbox palette. I don't even know what it's called. The back is all wrecked, but I think it says cover shot and it gets worse. <laughs> this is where we're at with the inside guys, but there's still so much of it left. I can't get rid of it. Let's see. So we've got the base on. Their shade nude here is pretty deep. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and just go a little bit on the outer corner of my eye, just brushing out. I feel like it'll just connect more when I put the eyeliner on. Perfect, and then for my inner corners, I always use this shade Deco. Just take a teeny tiny brush. I'm gonna go in the corner and then up a little bit. And if it's too intense, just pat it out. I feel like doing the inner corners makes such a big difference. And then I'll usually just take a little bit of my finger and go under my brows, just for a little something. Cute, just a little shadowy, subtle, natural. Then I'm gonna take this Nude Sticks shade Lilith. And I don't have a white liner, but I'll just do a little waterline. Next up, I've got my crusty, dusty Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. Before I even finish the product, the first thing to go was that cute little sponge tip. So I just try to be really, really careful. Oh, I overdid it. And squeegee out a little bit. And then I just take it, put it on high points of my cheekbones and a little on my nose. Then just blending it out. Never been a massive highlight person, but I'll put it on just in case. Then for eyes, I really don't feel like wearing too much. I've got this Eye of Horus Brown pen that I just put a little bit on the inner corner and then just a tiny bit on the outside, like that much. And then I'll take my Sephora Chunky Brown and a little tiny brush and just take a little bit and get not a wing, but a little smear. Okay, we'll do the other side. And then I kind of just drag it with my finger. And this is so tiny, tiny subtle. Then for mascara, I'm pretty sure this is also Eye of Horus, but there's no label anymore. At home, I usually use a brown mascara and I couldn't find it and I ended up bringing this one and I haven't been loving using black mascara again, but I have a little lash lift, so it just helps and I just put a tiny, tiny bit just for definition, not really for length or anything. Especially in the rain, I just don't feel like wearing mascara. Just a teeny tiny bit, and then I'll do a little on the bottoms. Not dipping it back in, just using whatever's left over. Perfect. For lip, I'll usually switch between this makeup by Mario and Laura Mercier lip liner. This one is called Smoky Pink, and the Laura Mercier is called Plumberry. I think let's go Laura Mercier. Just a little teeny tiny bit, just to make sure there's some definition. I don't really overline, just maybe a little bit on the top lip, just subtle. And then I'll just brush in the corners a little. This one's pretty close to my natural color. It doesn't want to focus, but I have the Summer Fridays Lip Oil in Soft Mauve. It's got this little puffy brush that I absolutely love. A little bit of this goes a long way. Last, we've got the Benefit Setting Spray. Let's do hair now. I put a bunch of dry shampoo and my heat protectant in, and we're just gonna see what we can do. This is what we're looking like now. This is not what my hair normally looks like. I don't understand what this texture is, but this week I've been just trying to go slightly rogue. I'll make sure it's split down the middle at least and then section off my bangs just manually. Just keep those separate. I cannot see the back of my head, but it feels very oily. You don't know what's happening. Okay, we'll just brush her out. I'm gonna bring an emergency hair clip in case I look really oily later and I can just, Put it up so I don't need to 
stress about looking gross. Here's what I've been doing. I've just been taking, I'm trying to get better at taking random sections. I don't know if that makes sense, but I want to do everything too perfectly. And with hair, I feel like messy is okay. So I'm just keeping the barrel vertical and I do a little twisty like that because that's what my, that's what my hairstylist does. Give it a go. And then I'll just take important looking chunks. This is my new thing as of this week. This is not something I've done for a while. I'm using my T3 micro wand because this one has dual voltage so I can use it in Europe. And especially focusing on the front and anything that's visible from the front. And the ends, I just pull out straight. Let me do all of it and then I'll check back in. I feel like it's very French to have the effortless hair look, so it could work out in my favor. Not that this is effortless, this is taking a lot of effort. Um, I'm gonna leave these how they are and then let's do the front pieces. I have never kept my bangs at the same length. Right now they are kind of up to my chin, but I miss them being little curtain bangs. I did just spend a year growing them out though, so it would be annoying to cut them. I have never figured out a style that I love for my bangs. I'm gonna curl them up like this really quick and then they come out like that. I just don't think they ever like go where you need them to. Like now they're out, I don't understand it. I do like using my Dyson for my bangs, but we cannot have her with us. We're gonna take this back and go over and down, curl it up and pull it out vertically like this. While it's still hot, I'm gonna kind of hold the bang where I want her so she'll dry or like cool off this way a little and lay flatter like that. Okay, cute-ish. Oh no, oh no, oh no, honey. The back feels really gross. I don't know what's going on. Let's pull the same thing on the other side. I feel like it works for hair down. If I wanna clip one piece of my hair up, my bangs are gonna ruin my life. I do have a little portable hairspray with me. So I'm gonna spray down the center here just to make sure that it doesn't part too weird. And then I'll spray this down. I'm gonna go crazy with the hairspray because it's rainy out. Let's go everywhere a little. And then I'm gonna brush it. Here is my little hair look. I feel neutral about it. I just hope it lasts all day because I just don't wanna feel gross and blobby if it does not. Thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting. I don't really do a lot of hair and makeup content because not my area of expertise, but this is what I do every day. So I figured I'd show you guys. I am off to breakfast. I need some coffee, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye.